Hey, it's Medida presenting you with the Siwi Fashion News Digest, brought to you by Siwi, the global apparel, B2B network, and marketplace platform. So today, we're bringing you a bunch of interesting topics about retail, including where customers are shopping and are department stores actually dying? You believe that Miami and Austin are not the fashion hubs in the US anymore? Dallas and Orlando are the new fashion hubs where fashion brands are moving nowadays. Actually, this is due to a rich session, meaning that aspirational shoppers who used to shop at luxury brands are now shifting to contemporary and athletic brands. So brands like Lululemon are just thriving right now. These cities are growing rapidly and attracting new residents to live there. It's also an opportunity for these fashion brands to just take over. I've seen actually this trend growing at the end of 2022 and moving into 2023. So let's see where it's gonna head. Nobody can beat Amazon. Amazon is just on top. With the company beating its third quarter estimate for revenue and also the high interest rates didn't stop consumers from shopping on its online platform. Shares of Amazon have also rose 5%. Are department stores dying? With Barney's declaring bankruptcy and opening ceremony, a pioneering boutique in New York also closed down. Uh, what's the future for department stores? Or what is the future looking like for multi-brand retailers? Why though? I mean, well, it's actually three things three things piece of e-commerce spending and the decline of luxury spending attractiveness of off-price retailers like tj maxx and for department stores to survive and multi-brand retailers they just have to step up their game that means going into experiential retail and also focusing a lot on customer service. Actually, many department stores have understood the assignment. Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, and Nordstrom putting customer service in the heart of their strategy. Yet Macy's and Bloomingdale's are focusing more on rent and resale. And more on the retail experiential side, Dale's is experimenting with like a rotating carousel pop-up space and Saks Fifth Avenue opening a new restaurant called L'Avenue in order to keep their consumers inside the store. For stories that we have on retail today, we hope you enjoyed these stories and also subscribe. We are here with fashion news from all over the industry. And yeah, we'll see you soon.